In this video, let's take a look at each of these tools and see what options we have for manually editing the clips. If we want to make changes after the fact. So here we have our clip pulled up in Opus Clips. And I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to make some random splits in the scene. Maybe we're going to start with that split screen view. Let the viewer know like, hey, this is an interview. So in my opinion, the split screen view can kind of be a little overplayed at times. I feel like most podcasters, this is the default format is to have the split screen view. And I feel like that can turn viewers away at times because they see it and they're like, okay, here's a podcast. Why do I care? You need something that's a little bit more captivating. And I think at times having just a single person on screen can be a little bit more interesting than just a split screen view. So we're going to try to change this split screen layout into a different layout. <laughs> so we have a couple different options. Oh, we probably want to do layout. Okay, yeah, so that's what we're going for. So we have layout fill, and then we could jump to a split screen to show like, hey, this is an interview. There's more going on than just the guest talking. Maybe we'll see what fit looks like. Okay, so now we got both of them side by side. I like that. Then we'll come over here, do another layout. I don't think this will work, but I'm curious what this looks like. Okay, so interesting. So maybe if we had three guests in here, this would be a little bit more useful. And then I'm guessing layout four is the same thing, but okay, yeah, so now we got one, two, three, four. Now let's come over into the clip layout split and choose how we want it. What about adjusting? Maybe I want the host on top here. Okay, so we can grab our guest and our host. We can flip flop them. Kind of cumbersome, but not too bad. It's a pretty easy switch to do. And then there was, when I clicked on one of these, I did see, okay, we have crop. Okay, so now we can actually change or adjust how the image is cropped for the bottom. I do like that. Hit apply. Okay, so that's not too bad. I will say Opus does a pretty good job of keeping the subject in the frame. So probably won't need to use the crop a whole lot when it comes to like an interview style kind of format podcast. So now let's take a look at Minvo and let's change around the scenes a little bit in Minvo. So like before we have kind of a switching going on between our guest and our host. And what I want to do here is maybe I want to change this one to not just be the host, but I want it to be a split screen view actually. So I'm going to click on the preview window here. You can see all the different options that we have. So we can center this on the screen, which doesn't do as much good for this one. We can focus on the left, which captures our host, focus on the right. We have full video, which now we have our very similar look to what Opus gave us. And then we can match the, the previous scenes or the next scenes, which is a, a really handy feature actually. Um, but that's okay. So we're looking at a full frame, but now we want actually a split screen view. So we're gonna go split. And now instantly we have our guest and host on the screen, which is perfect. Um, if we want, we can flip flop them without having to drag stuff around. Um, we just click swap frames and then boom, host on top, guest on bottom. Okay, additionally, we can move this around. We can make adjustments to what is being in frame, um, but it did a pretty good job of doing that by itself. So we'll just click 50, 50 and get it back to default. Then we come into this one. Uh, we have this one third view. So let's see what this does. Okay, so we have an actual a full view of both the guest and the host in there. And then we have one big one. So maybe I want this to be kind of keyed in. Actually, let's click the right button. That might be a little bit better. There we go. So I do like this. This is really cool. This is not something that I saw in Opus specifically, but you can see on the top, we have the full frame. You can see both the guest and host in shot. That's footage from our original video, our horizontal format. And then we're kind of locked in on the guest as they're talking down on the bottom. It's kind of another cool way to mix things up a little bit. And then the last format we get with Minvo is this picture in picture. We can choose where we want the little picture in picture bubble to be. I'll keep it up at the top. And then we have whatever is in this big purple one showing on screen. So we can have our guest in the little picture in picture if we want. And then we can have our host big on the screen there. I could see this being used for an interview, but I more see this for explainer tutorial type videos where maybe you have something that you're sharing on screen and you also want to show yourself in the frame as well. So this could be a good way to kind of still be on screen while showing what's happening. So another cool, cool addition to Minvo. Okay, now lastly, let's take a look at CapCut. We have these different options we can fill. So it's only showing a single person on screen, but it is, it does switch, I believe. Well, maybe not for this one. Let's jump back to this one. Okay, so we have our split screen. We're gonna click fill. Now this brings one person on the screen. They fill the entire scene. Framed well, a piece of content. So when you're writing something like for Okay, so I might have been mistaken. I'm glad we revisited this one. So it looks like all it did was fill in the host for the entire clip. It's not actually doing any switching at all, which is interesting. Let's check out these other options. We got fit, 
We have our full view there. And we have four thirds with a zoomed in version of it. Okay, so by default, not a whole lot of options. We have another option here for caption styles. We'll look at captions and B-roll and that kind of thing in other videos, comparing these three tools again. Right now we're just focused on the editing side. So let's jump into edit more. And what this will actually do is it'll take this clip and it'll pull it into the traditional CapCut editor. Okay, so now our clip is in CapCut. And as we scroll through here, just scrub through, we can see it is our 100% split screen view. It's interesting that it gave us three tracks. I'm curious what these three tracks are. Okay, so we have our just our host on the top. Okay, we have our guest, or guest on top, host on bottom, and then we have a full frame view. But if I want to actually switch the layout of some of these, it looks like I might have to do some tricky work here. Okay, so I split all of the scenes here. And then if I want to make, if I want to change it so that it's not just a split screen view, I'm thinking what I can probably do, blow up the guest. But I don't like that I can't really zoom out from the original footage on this one. What if we turned this off and we turn this one on? And now I guess we could blow this up, fit our frame. Maybe delete these out of here. So now we could go from our guest to split screen. Turn that back on. And then we could split and we could make some manual adjustments and split. But really changing what we have from the original looks like it's going to get a little cumbersome here. It's going to take us a while to get through all two minutes of constant scene switching if we do want to mix things up throughout. That's not ideally what we're going for when we want a, a quick editor that can get us there the fastest. I do appreciate it giving us multiple clips here to work with so you do have that control to do it if you want but in my opinion this is a little bit too involved for what I'm going for at least in this example of framing our videos. Okay so that is framing with Opus Clip, Minvo, and CapCut. We took a look at all three tools that we saw how well they do automatically framing the clip for us without touching it at all and what kind of options we have for manually adjusting the clip and changing up our framing throughout the entire scene. In my opinion, Opus Clip and Minvo were definitely way ahead of CapCut in terms of ease of use and just simplicity overall. I kind of think with CapCut, you're going to need to be a lot more involved in the editing process, which I feel kind of defeats the purpose of using an AI tool to do some of this stuff for you. But now I am very curious to hear what you think. Between the three tools that we looked at today, Opus Clip, Minvo, and CapCut, which of these tools do you think made it easier for making manual adjustments after the clip has been generated? Stop down in the comments and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up real quick. And if you found this video interesting, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're going to be pitting these three tools against each other in multiple other areas of the video editing process. We're going to be looking at captions, how well the platforms do with adding B-roll to our clips, sound effects, music. We're going to take a look at almost every aspect of the editing process and really dig into which of these tools does a better job. So if that's of interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button.